Hi, my name is Terry. Welcome to my art room. Today I'm going to demonstrate making a Marie style elegant shoe out of paper. This is one shoe that I've made. I've made quite a few already. And you can make them in lots of different ways. They're really fun. This one doesn't have a heel. It's a flat shoe. has a little bit of room to tuck a goodie in for swapping. It's got a heel back. They don't all have a heel back. You can make it with a heel or without a heel. Without a heel back or with a heel back. I like to use the very best papers I have, the best ribbon I have, the best ephemera I have, especially vintage buttons, vintage pearls, uh, crepe paper, um, vintage rhinestone jewelry makes a great addition to these shoes. Anything that makes it look really Marie, which means over the top gorgeous. So you can let your imagination run wild. Let's start with what you need to get started with this project. You need scissors, a straight edge, bone folder is fabulous. This one I think is Martha Stewart's and I just love it. Cut your template out of sturdy cardstock. You need a pencil, some glue. I love Aileen's tacky glue and I always store it upside down in a little cup. That way it's always at the tip when I'm ready to use it. You, could, you also will need a glue gun unless you want to use another type of craft glue that you really trust to hold things down. I also like to keep a piece of wet paper towel so I can quickly wipe my fingers when I've got glue on them. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are with the template and we are going to have two cutouts of the sole and we're going to have our choice of toe and if we want to add heel back we're going to use this heel back. Now this heel back is quite tall. Once you cut it out you use a straight edge like this to draw a line like this And then I take my bone folder and I follow that line all the way down, pressing hard so that then it will fold easily. You can see that I've already cut tabs in here. I just use my scissors to cut these tabs. That way it, it rolls nicely around the heel, like that. Okay, But you can change the length of this by folding it in half and cutting. You can change the height, fold it in half and cut. It depends on how you want your... Heel, the heel back to look. So there are three ways that you can cut out the toe of the shoe template. You can cut it out just as it is and you can just glue it around the edge onto the sole of the shoe and you will get about half of an inch of an opening there. You can see that. Or you can cut it out a little bit bigger and make room to create some tabs. This just gives it more strength around the toe and after you trace it a little bit bigger you can take your bone folder and go right along the edge here on both sides and that makes it so that it folds easily and you can use your scissors just to clip in these little clips so that you can bend them forward like this and when you glue them to the sole of the shoe It makes it a little bit easier to attach it with the tabs. Or you can do it a third way and have a much higher toe of shoe. With this option, I have cut it out quite a bit wider and even a little bit different here. And then I took my bone folder and halfway I made my line my fold line like this and then I cut it and as you can see I'll show you just how tall this one is when you put this one when you put this one on the shoe you get quite an opening so you really have room to stuff in some ribbons, a bundle of ribbons or um, some lace Now if you want to do the heel back, this is fairly easy. It's kind of the same idea. 
with the heel back template. Like I said before, you can make this part shorter or as high as it is in the template and you do with a straight edge. You want to make your line so then you can fold it there and you can make this shorter depending on what you are going to do with the shoe. You can make this the full size if you're not going to have a heel. But if you're going to have a heel, there's going to be a bend here. So you need to shorten this like I did in this shoe here. And then there are two fold lines on the template if you're going to have a heel. The first fold line close to the toe, you bend inward. And the second fold line close to the heel, you fold a little bit back. And as you can see, that creates a little step. And you can kind of decide how much of a step you need depending on how big of a heel you want to put on. I use these little wooden dolls that I have painted the same color and then I have used an old button just for a little bit of a little bit of a definition there at the bottom and I have used my craft glue or my glue gun, glue gun just to glue that to the bottom and that was my heel and it worked kind of like that See? So that's what you would do if you wanted to do the wooden heel. And as you can see, this is how I glued the heel back on this shoe. And then the second sole goes over to cover that up. And you use your scissors after you've glued the second sole back on to trim around the edges and make it neat and tidy. So. I want to show you what that's going to look like. There's a shoe that I use a Zyron machine to put adhesive on this velvet ribbon. And I put the velvet ribbon on the outside and on the inside of the heel back. I also use a Zyron machine to add some Irish crochet lace, some vintage lace here, and a little bit more velvet ribbon there. And then I attached two of my own special script leaves that I created and a vintage flower. So there it is and as you can see it has a nice deep pocket here with this third option where I can place this little bundle of vintage lace and ribbons and some newer ribbons but some of my favorite favorite trimmings and I can tuck it right in there and there it is my finished elegant shoe. So thanks for stopping by and watching me make this shoe. I hope that the template is clearer now and that it's easier for you to make one. Can't wait to see what you make. Bye-bye.